Working with a Pash Cassandra normally takes some effort for the first installation. Adding using Docker sometimes, you need some effort to connect with your client applications and perform whole operations. For this purpose, there are platforms that can provide to you the possibility to accelerate this process, to have a red one instantiated Cassandra server to be utilized, and in a way, it would move to a productive environment with your out some effort. For this purpose, in this video, we are going to show this platform from data stacks, the Astra DB, in which we can create one Cassandra database server and interact with that directly in cloud using only your web browser. You can initiate performing the sign in using your already existing account from GitHub or Google or even create one account here. I have already made my process with GitHub account. So clicking here, it will ask for your credentials. In case it's already saved, it will enter directly. And here you have the possibility for create new database and interact with that. I have created here previous a first database, but could try to create new ones if necessary. One database name and one key space name that are part of the structure of Cassandra database. Very simple, right? Okay, once you have one database available, you just have to click over that and then here you can interact with that using SQL console. So here you are going to be able to perform queries, create structures, selecting data and more stuff. So let's do that now. Here are the instructions we are going to execute. List the existing key space. Remembering one was already created initially when we set up this first database. We are going to connect in the specific key space. Key space is basically one database to be utilized. Then we are going to describe the existing tables. It will be empty in the first moment. We are going to create a new table. We are going to verify that this table really was successfully created. We are going to insert new data in this table. And at the end, we are going to select data from this table. So let's start. First of all, describing the existing tables. For you interacting with Cassandra server, you have just to click here in SQL console after you have clicked here in our specific database. Okay, so you just ask to describe a key space. And our specific key space is here, Cassandra key space. This name I have inputted manually when creating this first database. So now we are going to connect with the use statement, connecting one specific key space. So just use and the name of key space. Here the autocomplete works very, very well. Okay, we have connected in the in the Cassandra key space. Now we are going to list the existing tables with the Describe tables. Executing that, it's going to inform to us that there is no table available until now. But now we are going to create one new table here. Here, what we can highlight from this comment the primary key using the specific type UID and the publisher column is a timestamp column, so these two types are specifically from Cassandra, sometimes with different names in different database. Now we have created the table and execute again the describe tables. We have here the new table created as we have first asked here. Now let's clear this console and continue our paths. We are going to insert a new record to this table. Okay, from this 
statement here, what we can highlight. This function, UU ID, it's going to generate it automatically one ID that fits the requirements of IDs for Cassandra. And we have this date off now that is two functions that's going to take the current timestamp and set in the timestamp column. Just execution that, we have inserted the data. And for concluding our video, we can select the data from table and ensure it was properly created. So here it is. You see the UUID, you see the, the current timestamp, and everything was here available. So I hope if you have to work with data stacks and Cassandra online, this video could help you to achieve this purpose. If you have liked this video, please comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.